How did the homework go? Mm. Um, I can't remember exactly what, what it was. Yeah, it was the swing pattern. Yeah. Without the, without the snare. Yeah. So... Coordination is an, an interesting fuck up. Mm. Okay, wait, wait, I've, I've got one here. Um, okay, just without the metronome first, just play me uh, the swing pattern. Alright, do you mind if you can have a seat here? You can check there. Alright, the swing pattern. Mm -hmm. So, Oh. Yeah, I have to always. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Take, take your time. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, cool. So um, one thing. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. Just before we carry on, just everything's sitting nicely, um, except the ride you're putting in an extra skip beat. So in other words, now it's a shuffle. So the difference between a shuffle and, and the swing ride pattern is this a shuffle. Yeah. Swing ride. So, so that da -dum, da dum note is only on beats two and four. So in other words, one, two, uh, three, four, uh, one. Instead of putting it on every beat, one, uh, two, uh, three. Oh, uh, it's only on two. Okay, so it's um, one, two, two uh, three, three, four. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. But I thought maybe I'll, I'll give these to you. Yeah, or let's just see how loud it is, actually. Okay, sorry, but that's too fast. Um. is the fact that my heel is on the pedal mm -hmm. resting here mm. yeah so I found that if I do this for nine minutes with Freddie it's I get tired yeah yeah, yeah. so sure. then what I do then oh, is yeah, switch yeah. between I lift and I press yeah. down so and that's called heel down is what we were doing yeah and then heel up is playing like that right okay and both are valid Okay. The heel down is just better because it's easier to control at a soft volume. Like trying to very carefully. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Is, is hard. But and it's also just a um, a muscle thing. Like you'll just develop that over time. Yeah. So, so I, I see that tiring, I see that fine. the each have their own problems. Like yeah. the the heel up is tight here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heel down is the, On the yeah exactly the four muscles. Yeah, exactly. Um, just got to, I mean, it's like gymming, you know, you just have to, to carry on, but that's, that's fine. Yeah. If you need to take a break, you know, yeah, just transition to the other. Yeah. You guys that play like an hour gig, man. It's crazy. <laughs> no, but you get used to it. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's just stick with that swing pattern. Um, let's forget about the bass drum and hi-hat for now and just do the ride cymbal. Um, okay, just play it for me. So 
the the skip note, the uh note. Dun, dun, da, dun. Um, that can be a little bit softer, um, and the so the quarter notes can be a bit louder. Dum 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 dum. dum okay, um, but let's do it super super slow. Um, okay, so in our heads we want to be hearing the triplet subdivision so one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet okay, in our heads very strongly um, okay, and we're playing, what are we playing? we're playing beats one, two, the last triplet of two and three four and the last triplet of four um, so we're just trying to get that uh, like smack on that last triplet so just make sure that in your head you're hearing very clearly da, 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 da. smack da, da, smack da, 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 da. Ah, there, okay, cool. So, so hold on. So now that's that a uh, note came in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna ask you from now on did it come early or late? Okay, okay, cool. Okay, that was my biggest issue. I can't keep even with the like, like, keep keep them even because yeah, yeah. then I just hear kagan, 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 and I'm like, no, man, it should be da, 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 then it goes right. to a da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, what we part of the issue is accustomed to. Not every beat for them. One, two, uh, three, four, uh, one. Yeah. Two, uh, three, four, uh, one. But then you're putting that skip note on, on every beat now. What's so what I do? Careful. Remember the. Da, da, dum, da, da, da. So you're oh, putting okay. it on beats one okay. and three. Every as second as one. Yeah. Two, that's perfect, keep it going. Excellent, okay. You do the exact same thing now, but just now let's just check out the grip, right? So you you're Holding it um, mainly between uh, here, um, which is always what is taught, okay? Mm -hmm. But just be careful to not exclude the rest of the hand because that there's a lot of tension that goes into, you know, keeping this sort of there. So yeah. let the hand rather cradle the stick. Okay, so literally get it all in there and let it be very loose. And, and, and now the only motion that you're going to use is the, the wrist sort of... In the side. So it's not sovereign. No. Because that's the kind of thing that I, I learned from the free stroke. So I thought yeah. like you have to like let it yeah. bounce up. When but you're still holding, like creating it. Yeah, but you're not you're not you're not um, gripping it hard. Okay. I'm just uh, I'm just not excluding the whole hand. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um so very loose in the grip and then with the wrist. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four.
now, uh, I don't know if you've ever done this um, way of counting with Carlo before, maybe. Um, he was the first person that taught it to me, but um, it's advised a, a lot for drummers to do this. Um, so, I'm... I'm, I'm ah, how do I... Okay, sorry, this one. Okay, there you go. So, the, at the moment, we were playing our pattern, right? Pattern being one, two, uh, three, four, oh, one, okay? And the metronome was playing, was giving us the quarter notes. One, two, so it's very easy to aim for to play to it like this because mm. we're we're playing all the quarter notes so we've got something to aim for all the time but what i want us to do is rather listen to the metronome as if the metronome itself is not playing on the quarter notes it is playing on the last triplet of each beat okay so in other words just play your pattern there the, the right <laughs> pattern we were doing and I'll, I'll come in and i'll show you i'll show you what's going on keep it going so before we had our metronome doing this right one two three four okay we're now gonna keep it going we're now gonna keep put the metronome on the last triplet of each beat so if i count it it'll be like this one triplet two triplet three triplet four triplet So that's how we're going to hear the, the metronome. So firstly, we have to break away from hearing the metronome as one, uh, two, it's the lit one, lit two, three, four. <laughs> okay, but okay, but I want you to be able to get that yourself, and it's really tricky to do that. So wait, hold on, hold on. So first, just with your um, sticks together. You're hearing that as the quarter notes, no doubt, because it's, it's so hard to break away from that. So first, just play all the triplets, um, the subdivision of triplets to this, to this beat. Cool. So now you've got the underlying pulse, right? Now all we have to do is count to where we want the quarter note to be, which is... If I'm saying that I want this metronome to be on the last triplet, it means that every time we clap with the metronome, that's the last triplet, and the beat after that will be our quarter note. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> Just keep going. And so the way we're going to count uh, maybe is no, instead of triplet, we're going to say um, one and a. Uh, that's how we're going to count, okay? So it's the quarter note and a. Uh, that, that gives us the three beats. Uh, three and, uh, four okay, and but what we need to do is put the a uh like with listen. the metronome. So as soon as you hear the metronome, say a uh, and carry on counting. A uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a. Uh, okay, cool. By uh, start, uh, stop and then start again. Uh, one and uh, two and uh, three nice. and uh, four. So now lock into where your quarter note is now. Three and a uh, four. One, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three. Okay, let's go back from the beginning. One. Okay, we're finding the counting first. Uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, so four. As soon as you've got it, count the numbers a bit louder. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, let's just count it two, and we're going to come in with the measure. Three, four, with the right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you got it. One, two, three, four. One, two, yeah, three, four. four. Cool, cool, no, that's fine. Okay, so what do you notice? You notice that um, the those skip notes, which we call them, the uhs on two and four, one, two, uh, are lining up with the metronome when we play it like that. So there's at least something to sort of aim for. So so now, because you're doing a lot of thinking to, you know, mm. keep it on track, um, at some point just realize, oh yes, it's going to be... So let's just play like that for a bit um, until it feels really comfortable and you can hear everything in its place. Okay, uh, I'll do it one more time one, starting from two, three. Yes, excellent, nice. Four. Okay, careful. So now the way you were counting to it now yeah, it was straight instead yeah, yeah. of swung. Yeah. One, two, three, four.
put that hi hat in. Just to, okay, it's, it's a lot to put in. Um, maybe let's not try to put it all together just yet. Um, let's break it up. So that the ride and the bass drum together was solid. Now let's do the ride and the hi hat. Forget about the bass drum for now. Okay, one, two, three, four. tempo um, it'll be a good exercise because ho this whole exercise is for your ears you know I mean it it helps your coordination and everything because you have to be coordinated for it to sound right but the the, mo the main thing is that you're getting away from being told here's the coordinate mm. pulse um, you know you need to feel it for yourself um, okay but what so now what I want us to do is the same thing but now you have to keep track of how many bars you're playing because what you're going to do is play three bars straight as you did and then leave the fourth bar uh, rest. You don't play anything. And that's going to be hard because you're just going to have the click going in that fourth bar and it's going to be very um, easy to fall into hearing it back the other way, right? Yeah. Um, so you're going to have to have your internal clock Running at full capacity. Okay, so let me do it once for you, um, and then I'll keep going and you can just join me, just so you can hear how that's working out, okay? Two, three, four. One. Okay, that's one bar. Bar two.
Let's try this uh, a little bit faster, because now it'll start sounding like, like something. Okay, so first find the triplets. Let's just go back through that method just in case we forget. Very right, careful, careful. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to go oh, one, one, two, three, two, uh, four. Uh, one. Uh, let me try it. Oh, uh, one. A two, a three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. What happened? Did you did you slip in the way of speeding up to this or slowing down to it? I think I sped up. Yeah. Cool. So just try it again, and as soon as you find yourself slipping, just immediately stop and say, "Was I speeding up or slowing down?" One, two, ah. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Ah, okay, okay. So there, you started with the metronome. So what was happening is, even though you were counting, counting. correctly, you were feeling um, that feeling, as the yeah. pulse. Yeah. Mm. A one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three. Now really shout it. So like, one, two, three, four. That's the one. One, two, three. Sense how that click is 
where it's placed yep. and how to feel it. Um, okay, so let's just forget about the feet for now. Just stick with the right symbol and now introduce the left hand. Okay, so what I want us to do is read this page. Maybe, maybe not today. Uh, let's see. But the idea would be to use this book, but specifically this page. Uh, some of the other pages aren't very conducive to uh, to this comping idea with the left hand, but this this page is really good. So, um, what it what that would sound like if I just did that first page, um, just so you see how it's all fitting in, uh, which it would sound like this: uh, one, two, three. No, no, that's that's cool. So, and so what are doing it like this? Yeah, no, don't don't do it like that. Uh, <laughs> that's just old habit. Um, now this line is only made up of beats that are either on the chord note, so on one, two, three, four, or in between, so on the uh, and just remember that because we're in a swing. Uh, feel anything that falls on uh, what is written as an and as a uh, an in between beat here is actually on the last triplet, not directly. So it's not going to be. Mm. Oh, hold on, no, no, don't worry. Just even if even if I'm talking uh, French, you uh, yeah, just yeah. like. Uh, so this accept. is on the first triplet, and that's on the second triplet. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Let me look here. Th this is written a bit weird. So here we've got a chord note and then two eighth notes, right? So that's on one. That's oh, on two. Sorry, sorry. And then for the eighth notes. For the eighth notes, yeah. Yes, so yes. so this is on two. This is written as and. So okay. one, two, and three. Yeah, yeah. But because we're in a swing feel, that gets shifted to the yeah, yeah, uh. Yeah. So yeah. so this would be one, two, uh, instead of one, two, and three. Wow. But this makes a lot of sense with the metronome. So just have a listen. So. Instead of one, two, and three, it's one, two, and three. Yeah. Okay. But now, like I was saying, this is on the on the second triplet. On the second triplet. No, no, it's on the third. It's always on the third triplet, but it's on the th it's on one, two, uh, three, uh. So it's on the the third triplet of beat three, but. Don't, don't even worry about that for now. The only thing we need to be able to first do before we try to read that stuff with the left hand is get the left hand to be able to play these different beats. So the left hand has to be able to play with um, the quarter notes that the right is playing. So not even though you're playing that skip note here in this pattern, don't don't mimic that with the left hand. We just want to get this left hand to be able to play one, two. What while the kick is doing. Yeah, 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 what the kick's doing, exactly. Okay. With the right hand. Okay. So before you play the left hand, just play your right pattern again. And... Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. So before you play that left hand, just sing what the left hand would play. So instead of... Yeah. 
cool. When you feel confident in your singing, play play the snare drum with with your voice, like you would. play anything for now so the left hand we try so we've gotten the left hand to be able to play with the coordinates so we just listen to this as, as if it is on the coordinates like Thank like God. beginner mm -hmm. so our left hand can do this one two three while we play the right symbol that's cool now we want to get the left hand to be able to play those um those O's, the, the in between the last triplet beats the ands basically which are which would be written there as and so the the shuffle note right mm -hmm. so first let's just sing that to the metronome so that would be da 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 right so now we want to put that with the right so first again play the right um so play it at that sort of speed play the right and just sing the the off beats. La, 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 la. So don't forget the, la, the la. pattern. La, 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 la.
I think for now, until the next lesson, um, don't worry about the bass drum because you've got that. You've got that down. Just worry about the left foot, the, the hi hat, because that's the one that's giving you more trouble than is there than than anything. So, oh. Um, so where I made the, the star marking for the, the last line, that's, that's what we were doing now. So I, I've said the right hand plays and that's the pattern. That's how it's written out, right? Then everything underneath the, the right pattern is for the left hand to try and play different rhythms. But it's, it's logical, so it's not anything that you wouldn't be able to figure out. But let, that, that's, uh, I should have written that first because that's, that's easier to start with and that's what you were just doing now. So, uh, just to recap, that'll sound like, and, and each bar is supposed to be repeated, right? You work on it one at a time. Um, so that first star would sound like this. that nicely then the so second so stop to be clear this is yeah. not on the beat no that is on the beat this is on the beat yeah yeah so these are just straight chord notes one two three four so that's for that's for your left the second star is the off beats which you also did now so one uh, and that's two, the, the two uh, three the yeah. last drop yeah. Okay, got it. Just for um, uh, ease of writing, they, they write it as eighth notes. Okay, but it's swung, so you don't you don't have to. Yeah, it's it's just the offbeat. That that's all you have to think. So and that sound which you you got sounds like. So one to eight now is breaking it up. It's saying, okay, don't play all the coordinates, just play beats one and three. What is two saying? It's saying play the off beat of one and three. So one a uh, two, three a uh, four. Make sense? Mm -hmm. um, then three is beats two. So you see this pattern this um, rhythm is being shifted by an eighth note. Now it's on to two and four, uh, of two and four. Okay. Then we're doing two note grouping. So one and, one, a uh, two, three, a uh, four. Got then it. one, a uh, two, three, a uh, four. Then one, two. Let me just play, I'm just gonna actually play this um, without repeating anything. Actually, I'll repeat each bar twice, just so you can hear what it all sounds like. Yep. So from one to eight. I mean, theoretically, uh, is it? Yeah, 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 you can understand what's going on there. No, it's understand. just the, it's just the coordination of it. But 
Um, I, yeah, I wouldn't, like, when you start practicing this in a session, don't start with this. Just start with that to warm up. Um, okay. Uh, bottom line. Because it's easier, and you've done it already. Um, but yeah, like I say, for for this and until our next lesson, forget about the bass drum completely. Uh, it's it's not worth your time to because that's solid. So so don't even just focus on getting the hands to work together. Okay, got it. Um, cool. Should we call it? Yeah, we can call it. It's a nice kit, man. Symbols, yo. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. But those symbols aren't like no, horrendous. No, they, 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 okay. So what, what, what pisses me off about them is that it's probably the room, because there's oh, a yeah. resonance, like a, a note that's hitting. Okay. And I need to.